everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm your host, Brugly, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining Backrooms Level 60, or the Baywalk. Now, if you're a fan of creepy liminal spaces and things that just make you feel uncomfortable, then you're 100% going to like this video and this level because it is possibly the scariest liminal Backrooms level that I've seen. With all that said, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Also, go check out my second and third channels, Toogly and Spoogly, because if you do that, well, you're pretty cool. Now, let's get into the video. So Backrooms Level 60 is classified as a Class 5 difficulty and is unsafe, unsecure, and very dangerous due to its environment and other things, which I'll explain in a few minutes. The level physically takes place next to the ocean, and it's made up of different segments of a pathway. That's why it's named the Baywalk. Now the pathway itself is well kept in some spots, and broken and destroyed in other spots. And it's all slightly lit up by dim street lights. Some of the lights are broken, and some of them are just off or collapsed. So there's not much light here, so don't expect to be able to see much. On top of this, the level is always dark. It's always nighttime, and the sun has never been seen here. Which means that this is a perfect place for smiler entities to be. And trust me, they're here. <laughs> but more on that in the entity portion of the video. The pathway along the water gives off a very relaxing feeling to anyone walking on it. And overall, it makes anyone who comes here pretty calm even though it's very dangerous. There's a light sea breeze blowing and the sounds of waves crashing probably helps with you feeling relaxed. Although this relaxed feeling isn't good because it's the level trying to make you let your guard down. If you're chill and not stressing about anything on this level, then it leaves you more open to entity attacks, which apparently is what the level wants. Now, as I said earlier, the level is split up into a couple different segments. The first segment is called the upper area, and this place is the main part of level 60. The pathway here looks pretty new and well kept. The floor is concrete and it doesn't have any cracks or any breaks or anything. And most of the lights here don't work. There are huge swaths of complete darkness. And this upper area is also the most dangerous part of the level due to those big parts of darkness. And it's in those dark areas where the level tries to make you feel calm by having a nice breeze and a nice calming sensation from the water. And that effect has been nicknamed the painless death. And since there's less lighting, there's more smilers. So good luck! The next area is called Segment 2, or the Lower Area. Now this is where most people who get sent to the level spawn. This pathway is made out of dirt and is physically located below the upper area. In this section, everything is unfinished looking and kind of grimy. This part also is way closer to the water, so if you aren't careful, you could fall into it. In some rare cases, you'll be able to find a staircase that leads up to the upper area. But these aren't common, so yeah. And even if you do find a staircase, you should not go up them because of the smilers and the darkness up there. The good news about the lower area is that there aren't any creatures down here hiding in the shadows. It's pretty safe. But you do have to stay on the lookout when you're walking so you don't trip over something and fall into the ocean below. Speaking of the ocean, it's got some pretty strange behaviors to say the least. Now the ocean for the most part is like the ones from real life, but instead of it being, you know, miles deep like the ones we have, it's only four feet deep. Which doesn't seem bad at first, but trust me, it's bad. Because this ocean area is pitch black, like literally no light comes down from the lamppost here. Which means, of course, that smilers have infested this shallow ocean. So if you fall in, you pretty much fall into a smiler pit. The ocean also seems to be able to be no clipped through sometimes, because people have been seen falling off of the lower level into the ocean and then just disappearing. So that's pretty cool. But this no clipping effect doesn't always happen. On top of this, sometimes this ocean will randomly and unexplainably disappear, and the only thing that will be there is the black sand at the bottom where the ocean used to be. To enter this level, you have to get into any body of water and drown. That's right, drown. 
and you'll have a chance of being sent here. Although, I don't think I would come here and risk literally doing that just to be here because I like living. And to exit, you can either jump into the ocean and hope it's in a no-clipping phase where you can be sent out, or you might be able to no-clip through the upper level to be sent to the next level, which is 61. But both of those exits are not 100% real or 100% proven because no one truly knows what happens to people who fall into the sea. Who knows? Not me. So yeah, this is a level of a nice liminal boardwalk next to the beach. Some spots more dangerous, some spots less dangerous. But overall, I think it gives off pretty good vibes and I enjoyed it. It's levels like these that are actually my favorite kind of levels in the back rooms because of the juxtaposition between the level looking safe. You know, this level takes place on a boardwalk next to a relaxing beach and ocean, but it's actually not safe because, you know, the factors of the ocean teleporting you away or there being smilers in the shadows. Those are the things that makes the back rooms great to me. How it's so unpredictable and how you can't ever see what's about to happen. Even though you might think you're safe, you're probably not safe. In fact, you're not safe. But levels like these are the ones that I do enjoy a lot. And I hope you do too. That was the explanation for this level, Backrooms Level 60. Thank you for watching till the end. Make sure to check out the links below that you need. And to check out my second and third channels, Toogly and Spoogly. It would be greatly appreciated if you check those out. Also, this channel, Brugly, is getting closer and closer to 500,000 subscribers. So if you want to help me get there, drop a sub. It's free. And I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for everything you do and for your support. I love and appreciate you all. I say that every video, but it's still true every single time. Also, make sure to let me know down below in the comments which levels you specifically want to see. Currently filling out my schedule for November and Brugmas, so let me know what you think. I'm tossing up the ideas of either doing levels 51 through 75 for Brugmas, or maybe something different, I don't know. But you all seem to love the daily uploads in December, so I'm glad to bring those to you. But if you have a specific level from the fandom, wiki dot, any place, custom level that you want me to go over, drop it in the comments below. I'll check it out. I'll go over it. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I am seriously, no joke, no bit. I'm so thankful for all you do for me. I'm so thankful for the support you've given, for the content you've interacted with, for the likes, comments, for the suggestions, for the interaction. Thank you so much. You are you all are amazing. I really appreciate you. You've changed my life, like, unironically. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to growing and continuing to grow and hit new milestones and break new milestones. And I'm just hoping you're going to be there alongside the Brugley channel the whole time. The journey's been crazy so far. Let's keep going. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.